Lesson 9, Chess Rolls. In this lesson, in rolling, I want you to make sure you don't have articles of clothing that might obstruct the way of your ball. So I'm going to take this off. To get started, we're going to use the fast method of learning how to move the ball up your body. So I'm going to teach you the chest roll, and this is how we break it up. So use fast motions. This is fast versus slow. Fast. And watch how the ball goes along your arm. So I'm feeling the sensation against my skin, and I'm noticing it goes this way. And I'm also observing it moving that way. So I need to tilt my thumb down and tilt my palm up to the sky bit. There we go. There we go. Then when you get up to the middle inner elbow, you're going to move it all the way up to your chest. So just roll that. Feel that sensation. There we go. You notice I'm leaning back a little bit, bending my knees, having a strong core, and leaning back. Okay? Now from here. Okay. Very good. Then the last section, you're going to go from your, or your shoulder down to your arm. This time you're going to use gravity as your friend. And you notice how I wiggle to get my hand underneath the ball? See? You're going to break it up into sections when you observe somebody. Then you use that, the fast method, to get it up your arm and figure out how the path is. So let's combine them. So I'm going to go up my arm, down to my other hand. I also looked at the ball, which triggers, it's a great tip, to trigger you to lean back. So follow the ball with your eyes, and you'll be able to get it all the way to the other side much quicker. Now you can also do, instead of from palm to palm, you can go from backhand to backhand. So, like so. Keep your elbows high so you can control how the ball is going to go off the edge. Whoa, okay. Oh, that was not so good. Give you another one. There you go. So there's many different techniques of using rolling. You can do chest rolls. You could do half chest rolls. Okay. Other side. Good, so I did palm and I also did backhand half chest rolls. Rolling can also be done from palm to inner elbow and more consistently. So focus on keeping your hands flat. Go slow in this case. You can even isolate the ball. Try looking away. I like to do the moonwalk in this situation. It looks really cool, like the ball is chasing me. But I'll be teaching you gliding and moonwalks in the Urban Contact Juggling series. So there you have it. That's rolling. Enjoy yourself again on this one. Keep active, stay loose, and stay under the ball. So there you go. Remember to always do what moves you. I'll see you in the next lesson. See ya.